New tonight, a Merlin community is dealing with a devastating loss. Tonight, we're hearing from neighbors and loved ones who are mourning the loss of a mother and friend who police say was killed by an ex-boyfriend. NBC5's Amanda Rose is live in studio tonight with more. Amanda? Kristen, Christina, Christina Mahaffey was killed earlier this month, but her life has had a lasting impression on those who knew and loved her. I look at this place and it just brings sadness to my heart. She didn't have to go. Sean Weiss says he was the last person Christina Mahaffey texted before she died. I got a text message from her basically stating that she needed help. According to police, Mahaffey was shot multiple times by her ex-boyfriend, Jeremy Sweet, on July 11th. They say Sweet then turned the gun on himself. I don't know what's going on, but you know, and then seconds later. Weiss says he walked outside after hearing all the commotion, but didn't realize Mahaffey had texted him until it was already too late. About halfway back to my trailer, and that's when the gunshots rang out. Mahaffey's body was later found inside her car, outside a property she, Sweet, Weiss, and others all shared in Merlin. This was her abode. Weiss says Mahaffey had broken up with Sweet, but still lived in a separate trailer on the shared property. She wasn't free from it, though. He could still walk over here at any time and harass her. It's a situation Jennifer Harp and Christy Borey say they never saw coming. She wanted to put her kids first and was trying to rebuild herself to give her kids the life that they deserved. Harp says she was like a surrogate mother to Mahaffey, and Mahaffey's two kids are still living with her today. They've lost their mom, who was trying to do everything she could to give them a better life. Both say they knew Mahaffey's relationship with Sweet was rocky, but never anticipated anything like this. She didn't want us knowing what was going on. Still, one thing they're all feeling is guilt that maybe they could have done more to help. Keep active in your kids' lives, know who they're with, know what they're going through. Because that's kind of where I felt. Bori and Harp have set up a GoFundMe page for Mahaffey's two kids who are four and six years old. You can find the link on our website at kobi5.com. Live in studio, Amanda Rose, NBC5 News.